welcome back. Welcome back. 50th episode. Oh, let's see. I'm a little confused. And the impertinent vegetation has defaced a impulsive jute. Teristodok. What the heck does that mean? So this ve vegetation has... I don't get it. Okay, so let's see. Do I still have like 15 or 18 of these to go? I'm going to try this episode to do get them up to the surface. Um, let's see. Well, I forgot to count. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, yuck, seven, yuck, nine, two, yuck, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteenth, seventeenth, and eighteenth to the absolute top. Alright, that's gonna be a tricksome. And let's see. This one's kinda big. And this one is kinda big, so I'm gonna need plenty of water. Um But all of these combined ought to do it. I don't know, I should probably bring up some water. Uh, let's get that started then. Whoops, wrong button. So let's uh, get some going. Get some going. Get some going. Get some going. Indeed, holy cow. This is gonna hurt a lot. Okay, so that one, that one, that means I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom for this. All the way. Hopefully, this will be the last of these sort of infrastructural pushes. Uh, but it's a lovely sight when it actually works. Look at them go. Oops. Ostier Duck Zersulkaten. I think I forgot about this, but let's, let's see what you've got here. You've got cave spider silk cloth to start, logs from the sand pair, blue pith owl leather, rough red zircons, square cut milk quartzes. Milk quartz is so common. Uh, persimmon wood logs and almond wood logs. Austere duck, Zursul Katen, Stonecrafter, has created Libeshud, a marble amulet. Amulet, amulet. I think I've even called that. Axe harvested, huh? 39 grand, almost 40. This is a marble amulet. It is decorated with blue peafowl leather and encircled with bands of cushion marble cabochons, emerald cut zircons, rose cut milk quartzes, and almond wood. This object menaces with spikes of cave spider silk. On the item is an image of gloss slid, the short donkey leather skirt and marble. On the item is an image of bog admired, the platinum mace and pear, sand pear wood. And on the item is an image of Zulban feed shot the dwarf and dwarves in persimmon wood. Zulban is surrounded by the dwarves outwork relates to the ascension of Zulban to the position of bareness of the cudgel of amusing in one, four, two. Oh. Well, on the one hand, traders, and on the other hand, they can't get their stupid wagons in, so that's a problem. All right, though, that's still good. It's still better than nothing. Has this been done yet? It kind of looks like it, so... I'll let them in. Let us see a DB. Whoops. Let's reclaim everything here so we can sell it. G, let's see here. Uh, S, X. Doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, it's uppercase both ways. Okay. Weapons, no. Cloth, headwear, pretty much yes. Sand, oh. Well, those are bags. Uh,. Interesting to know, though, that I have so much sand on hand. Powders, hmm, many... Proof of snang extricated something or other. Okay, that's cool. Lots of damage bags, lots of... Holy cow, lots of damage bags. Okay, well, what next? Uh, food. Let's see. Nope. Uh, let's see. Fruits and nuts. Uh, I probably just went right past it, didn't I? A powders, extracts. Well, I want to keep lye, I think. Holy crabs. Let's, uh... Let's... T t I don't know. I mean, the thing is, they're... How can I exclude certain things? Because I bet some of these must have stuff in them. Uh, let's just not. Toys, sure. Instruments, don't really care. Tools, uh, see, food. Okay, boop, 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 boop. this will be more than they could possibly have anything in return for, so that should be a good start. 
Mm. Cloak, tunic, get rid of those. Tunic. Let's see, uh, reindeer hoof crown, bill and ring, bracelets of goat weather. When did I make? ask them to make weather bracelets? Poof, okay. So let's take all the bars, which are not many. Uh, barrels, bags, uh, seeds. Yes, I'll take all your seeds. Uh, newts, seeds, spawn, sand, sure. I could use all the bags I can get, apparently, since all of mine are starting to wear out. Helmet spawn, that's right. Spawn. Bought a quick lime. I still don't really know what that's for. Silk, I will take it, even though I've probably got tons. But, you know, whatever. Large emerald cut. Burl. Uh, some meats. We'll take the meats and the foods. Wow. They are getting their money's worth and ten times over. Moose cheese. I wonder what that's like. Uh, that's pretty much it. Hmm. A lot to be lost. But my animals. Oh. Okay. Well, pretty much just losing one of these. What's the most expensive? All right. Boink! Hey, All now, right. come on. Spill spikes toppled by third sandstone. Well, where was that spill spikes? Pretty sure that was down. Where was spill spikes? Oh, look at all those things growing in there. So we got vent gate, vent spikes. Is that done? If that's just about done, I need to actually... Uh, let's see, F, carve fortifications, and we'll make that a high priority item, uh, because the water actually needs to go somewhere. All right, so where were the spill spikes? Spill spikes, spill spikes. Oh, that was closer to the surface. Ugh. Wrong button, again. Yeah, let's see, where was the spill spikes? Up well gate, escape gate. These are all connected, right? Okay, good. Spill spikes. Lower scape water separation. Spill spikes. Spill spikes. Maybe that's for magma. That must be down by where the magma uh, drops away here. Come on. Ooh, almost. Where is the magma? Here we go. No, that's, that's still water. And here's the magma spills, so maybe not. Is there no way you can't show... No. Uh, tell me where that was. Wait a minute. Third sandstone roll death upon outpost liaison. So they... they Are they someone I've dispensed with in the past? You. Uh, others. Yes. Why are you freaking out? Well, it's definitely in reference to spikes. Retracted spikes, two sets of retracted spikes here. Retracted spikes, retracted spikes, retracted spikes. That one I know is not it. So let's see, uh, tab. Retracted spikes. I know these aren't it. But these spikes must have belonged to someone. Magma release, emergency spillway. Hey, wait a minute. Right here. There was a third item. Uh, doing that has produced a new area I could not see before. Alrighty then. Time to start emptying out some of these mass graves. I have got Atom Smasher set up. And hopefully people are throwing those bodies right down in there. So... While it's unlikely I will see them again next year, they seem to want mostly tanned hides and headwear. But they're somewhat interested in seeds as well. Oh gosh, third sandstone roll death aban has gone berserk. The merchants from Estef Edath. Was that one of mine or one of theirs? I can't remember. I thought it was third and something. Others. Third, third, third sandstone. Tanner. Well, can't have that. If you guys wouldn't mind taking them out. Please wait. Wait a minute. SA 
Yeah, that's right. Follow. I don't know why that was giving me such a hard time. Do not chase the miner. Now, where is that military? Don't you dare topple anything in one of those temples. Because then you'll be cursed, too. I'm surprised he's not fighting the chicken. And... That was pretty much that. Oh, and just after that, Mechanic has been taken by a fey mood. And there the traders go. Thank you for all the fish. Emo Aluminum and also Zaxul. Uh, mechanic has created Arkim F, a granite mechanism. She claims it's a fairly air, uh, fair family <laughs> heirloom. Arkith, Arkim F, the race of shutting. Well, you know, that's not inappropriate a name. This is a granite mechanism. So all craft warship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with sheep leather and encircled with bands of cushion milk, quartz cabochons. This object menaces with spikes of pigtail, bone opal, and dog leather. On the item is an image of an octopus in granite. On the item is an image of Acum die esteemed to the plump helmet man in Jasper Opal. They are laboring. The artwork relates to the settling of this person, this plump helmet man, in the points of scintillating in the year 608. On the item is an image of Second Kenaf, Papery Hatchet, the Dwarf in Milk Quartress. <laughs> I am having so much trouble. Milk Quartz. Second Kenaf is striking a menacing pose. The arc relates to the return of the Dwarf, Second Kenaf, from the dead as a howling spirit in New Future in the early summer of 827. Okay, okay. Uh, one of my guys fell down in. Okay. All right, well, what do we do about that? We should... Uh... Well, for one thing, I want this removed. Now that it's frozen, we can come back. Let's see. How can I get down there? Let's... Get down in. Like so, and remove this right here. That will let them escape. That will let me clean this out. And come spring, this whole bidness, uh, this whole bidness will be uh, done. This, I'll have restored the ponds. Hopefully, they'll uh, get rid of some of the junk down here before things thaw out. Read after the gutter. Read M's Nightbound Codex. Well, I'm glad to see these two upset folk are, in fact, doing something interesting. Long, great deal of stress within the season. He was interested after reading. Wonder, read, learning. After learning, uncanny Ongo soil switch. She didn't feel anything after seeing a key as dead body. Interested after reading. Wonder, after learning. Very good. Hopefully this will get you out of the uh, agata, so to speak. Well... With all the uh, dumping and shifting of goods and whatnot pretty much done, it's nice to see that a lot of people are taking their time off seriously. There's still a bit of dumping going on, I guess. Uh, but what I have done was I went through and I made everybody able to pump. We are going to pump you up right through here, every single person. I need like 23 of them at least, but probably a bunch more than that. Um, so let's... Uh, I want to get this started. I want to bring this to the surface, okay? And that starts... What I'm going to do is make sure everybody is in one of these to begin with. Before I then connect them to the water, because... In each case, you can see there's a corner that will sort of fill up with water, but if the person above them is already rearing to go when the water arrives, that should shunt the majority of the water straight to the top. Uh, and that's more or less the goal here, is to speedily get them up to those first three levels. Oh, here we go. So not this one. Um, but this one can be in place, and this one can be in place, and this one can be in place, and this one, in part because these... You know, if I'm filling up a quarter of the thing every time, it's going to draw off sort of a buffer off of each of these. So hopefully, I got enough people who can do this. All right, everything's hooked up. 
Looks like there's people at most of the levels. And below as well. Man, they responded quick. All right, let's hook this thing up and watch the damage. And see what I mean? It fills up the corner. But here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Oof. It's sort of working, but you can see it's already slowing down. Oh, oh, look at this. It's happening. This is amazing. After all this effort, I think I may have a few people who are operating pumps at this time. Look at this craziness. This one was the one I feared the worst, but that they're putting the water pressure all through there. Oh my gosh. Look at that, the sevens are just advancing down that final line. You're gonna make it, you're gonna make it. A whole bunch of people just took off though to become military, so that's mildly annoying. Ah, but now this level can freely finish filling up and doing it fast. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Man, this would have been a lot easier if I had just done like a, a rotating square all the way up, but we are accomplishing it. It is going to be done this episode. The water access is all throughout. Yep. All right. You're done. And now you can fill up this business. That's the second largest part here. Here we putting in... I don't suppose you have any master blocks, do you? Okay. Native gold blocks. Yep. Uh, no amazing buckets, really. And no amazing ropes, really. Oh, I should have left the, uh, the really expensive mechanism for this. Uh, this is coming along, just agonizingly slow. Come on, come on. Once I'm done with these three, the rest can just dry up for the time being. That's fine. Oh, there we go. You are off the hook. And the enemy have come and are laying siege to the fortress. Which probably means I should... Uh... Well, that means human. So really, as of now, I can just close these up and not think a thing about it. I don't think anybody's stuck on the outside at this, at this time. So I think that's really all that matters right now. <laughs> By the way... Puns have spread out to all the areas. That's good. The uh, humans are taking pop shots into the garden, but all they can hit is dogs and ducks right now. Maybe some ewes. They seem to be interested in coming through. Oh! There's some people stuck on the outside. We don't want that. So that means... Close the gates! Close it all! Close everything! Uh, who is this? Upper flow? No, that's a bit premature. I'm gone too far. Uh, let's see. Lava fall, also too far. Do this. And... This and this. Put many barriers between them. And there you have it. Everybody's, uh... Everybody's okay. Don't need that closed anymore three different impassable barriers at least for humans who apparently can't bash anything down because they don't have allies or animals big enough to do it uh, this is flowing we've got Walter here somebody's already using it <laughs> very good you can see it's all up in the so anybody who's down in the in the um, you know what I wonder if some of this could be used for fishing too oh craps that's not what I meant to do. Right here. Boink. Boink. Right. Uh, wool test source and fishing. <laughs> so that should help. Um, yeah. So we did it. It is the done. There's still so much more that could be done with this fortress. But I think... Now that at least it has a viable water source, or actually multiple vi viable water sources again, and other than throwing some things away, collecting webs, making stuff, uh, they've pretty much got this place to themselves now. They're safely cut off from the outside world. Uh, I think I may call this series. 
It's like, it's good. Now, the thing is, if I, I'll probably make a duplicate in case anything goes wrong and come back, but I will close it out. Um, the problem is usually when you close out a fort, you can't really ever safely come back because any of the complications like water valves and stuff like that, they just don't function the same ever again. Uh, by the way, you can see here, <laughs> water level's drying up, but that's okay. We don't really need to care. I mean, I'm not that OCD. So, cool. Thanks for watching. Um, I haven't quite decided what to do next. I'm inclined to do a single player, like, well, this is all single player. Um, adventure mode is the word I'm looking for. Um, based out of here, like, this is the place from which it leaves and it goes on a quest to do something. The only problem is that will mean it's probably still going to be the old version of Dwarf Fortress and I don't know, I can't safely adapt it, I don't think, for the new version. So if I find out that DF Hack or Lazy Noob Pack, or in this, yeah, Lazy Noob Pack have caught up with the new version, I might just say, screw it. Let's just do an adventure mode in some new world. We'll see. It will probably be a little while before the episode start. Star unit uh, 37649, but you're in the way. It will probably be a little while before we start. Uh, sorry for the break. I could use it, though. I'm taking classes. we got COVID-19, all this stuff. Not that that's actually giving me... Anyway, thanks for watching. Come again with a new series.